Hi, good morning, guys. This is Dr. Jenny, use of physical therapy. And Dr. Physical Therapy, if you are in Philippines, good morning. And if you are in um, United Arab Emirates, salam alaikum. And to all U.S. colleagues of mine and members, good evening, guys. Yes, thanks, God. It's Thursday. And tonight, we have Jill Arsenal. And Jill is a nurse by profession, and also he is a major in journalism. But he is now a dementia care expert and the executive director and president of the GIMS. GIMS is also known as the Geriatric Infolinks Management Strategies. We will learn more about what are the different kinds of organization where we can volunteer, contribute our knowledge in the dementia care field. So it's me, Dr. Jenny Yusuf, to all that are um, listening right now, not familiar with me. So I'm geriatric clinical specialty, and I have really a passion in dementia care as well. So I would like to work with Jill because of his passion in dementia. So let's get to know him more. So he's also the president, as I've said, and also the representative of the IFDC. IFDC is International Federation on Dementia Care in Southeast Asia Division. And also he is the executive in the Bay Training Global. So it's like um, training, especially they have students and also nurses who wants to be more on um, expert in dementia field. So what else? He has lots of professions and also in the geriatric care guild. So let's get to know more about that. He's very passionate about this. So Jill, welcome to Thanks God It's Thursday for the Balance and Fall Support Group. We are listening to you and we're so glad. Thank you so much for your time with us. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Thank you for letting me in here. Uh, it's a great honor. And, um, yeah, a great honor and a pleasure to be part of your program. Oh, yes, you are welcome. Congratulations in all your um, teams. I believe you have lots of followers already, geriatric infolinks um, management strategies. Um, as a dementia care practitioner or expert, why do you think, um, Jill, you said you're nursing by profession, but now you're in this field helping everybody to be more aware of what is dementia, how to be experts so they can help people, you know? So why do you think dementia is your field that you want to expand? Yeah, uh, aging population has soared high in just recent years and it is not stopping anywhere in the world. About 50 million people globally right now is being afflicted and living with dementia. Uh, it is a condition that strikes very often, so unpredictably, uh, with uh, you know, with such a little warning that many have dubbed it as a silent um, epidemic. As a result, a aged care is now becoming a trend. A lot of people are frenzy about where to access aged care resources and information for the management of care for older adults, of course, with dementia. So this is basically what I do. And uh, what propelled me is that uh, the Philippines has an aging population about 9% nine, 9 uh, at the moment, and it is skyrocketing. Well, this is a worldwide phenomena. Uh, that's why this actually propels me to get into it and learn more and educate people about dementia. Funny thing is that when we had first uh, registered our company uh, back in 2013 in the Philippines, we went to the uh, city hall for registration and uh, while waiting, uh, the clerk there says, calling out my name, oh, where's Dementea, Dementea. So they thought it's the name of the person. That's, that's really funny. So that means uh, there is a need to educate people what dementia really is. And this is happening all over the world, not just in the Philippines. I didn't know that. That's a good story to share, Dementia. You know, my, oh, yeah. my mom's name is Dentna. And some of them, they call it Dentina. So that's really close, you know. Dementia. Dementia. Oh, yeah. this is my first time to hear that. 
here in America, um, they are very well known already. What is dementia? Dementia. But they just think that it's really a normal for aging people to be forgetful. Mm. So it's, I agree with you. We really need to let them know that dementia is not a normal uh, process in aging. You know, it's not a normal mm. for this time. So that's really good. So tell us more about the International Federation of Dementia Care. So what does it involve and how are you, uh, what's your place in that? Yeah, I am a dementia care advocate and um, I am also one of those who first uh, conferred to be an ambassador for the Purple Angel. This is a UK-based organization and this uh, actually paves the way towards the IFDC, the International Federation for Dementia Care. So basically, IFDC stands for the, yeah, just like what I said, IFDC, International Federation for Dementia Care. They believe, this organiza organization believes in building together a common framework for dementia care. So uh, this is an offshoot of the uh, mother organization, which is the JSDC, the Japanese Society for Dementia Care. So both of these organizations are based in Tokyo, Japan. Well, the IFDC was established in 2015. It's a, it's a young organization, but uh, it actually sprouted out from the JSDC, which has been there for many years ago. All right, that's really good. And also you will be like, you're doing some training, dementia care, expert examination. So what does it entail and how they do that? So when they yeah. pass the exam, they are like have a title of BCE, right? Dementia yeah. care expert. So what is a dementia care expert and how they get that certification? All right. So uh, if they got, if, if one, this is what we offer. We offer the BCE dementia care examination. This started in Japan. Uh, this is a very popular, um, very famous examination. About ten to fifteen million, I mean fifteen thousand people taking the examination annually. So this is only not for healthcare providers involved in the aged care, but it, this is open to all people that can relate to the aging care. Um, they can be family members or. Um, just plain people who would like to know and would like to gauge their knowledge on dementia more specifically. So what are the benefits of, of getting, uh, the benefits of being a certified dementia caregiver or dementia care provider? First one is that successful passers can earn unique uh, name append, just like what you said, um, there's a two unique titles, uh, DCS for the Associate Healthcare Sciences, or those who have not earned bachelor's degree in health-related courses. But for those who are already got a, a bachelor's degree related to health, like medical and, and allied healthcare professionals, they will earn DCE. So uh, basically it's just synonym, um, DCS and the DCE just that uh, we need to distinguish who is who. So the certification being internationally recognized will certainly give one a professional advantage over just an ordinary aged care provider. So you'll get an edge for this. And uh, you know, investing and obtaining this kind of certification, of course, will boost your confidence and credibility also demonstrates your determination to enhance your skill and knowledge in aged care, especially uh, dementia, because, you know, dementia eats up much of the, uh, you know, the aged care um, topics. Uh, well, this is a sub-sub-specialty, as they say, uh, geriatric care, and, you know, sub-specialty would be dementia care. So uh, what are other things? You can get a higher chance to move up into a higher position, uh, ladder up to your workplace and a higher probability of job retention. So we have many, many people who can attest to that. So once you earn this certification, you will be able to connect with the experts in the industry 
aged care who are members of the IFDC system. So one of these would be maybe Dr. Jenny Yousef in, in the future. Yeah, <laughs> and, sure. Uh, yeah. So IFDC through its partner organization can bridge one to uh, work in Japan, example, uh, for the people in the Philippines and Southeast Asia who would like to explore a training in Japan, we have an organization there as an accepting organization. So it, the availability of this depends on, on the country. Pastors can work in Japan for three years and can be extended for five years. But I cannot expound so much of that because we are not the, you know, the agency, but we have a partner uh, agency that caters to this. We have the Dementia Care Cooperative, that's the DCC in Japan. This is a very important uh, partner we have this is an affiliate organization of the IFDC in Japan that accepts DCE passers and deploys them to work at the affiliated care facilities. So basically, those are the uh, benefits of becoming a certified dementia care. All right. That's really wonderful. And that's a big organization. And when you explain to me, it's a branch of especially Southeast Asia, especially mm. Japan. And yes, you have, yes. uh, I remember I met um, some of your leaders as well. From, yes, that, that's, that's, right. that's really good. So thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. And I agree, dementia is really need to be, uh, mm -hmm. we need to be more involved on sharing the knowledge and be an expert. That way yes. we can help that, that, more people, you know? And it's an umbrella term. Mm -hmm. You are said subspecialty, subspecialty many yes. different kinds of dementia. People just know um, Alzheimer's, but there are many different types that can be involved and we need to learn that too so we can help more people. That's really good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah so that's what why are the we, different projects? Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's why we in the IFDC promotes the standardization of dementia mm -hmm. to the member countries along with the common goal, which is yeah, just like what I said, um, mm -hmm. the standardization for dementia. We support and promote clinical studies, including uh, trainings and activities related to aged and dementia care. We have an annual uh, scientific meeting, so we invite people to join um, people from different fields of, uh, you know, practice like uh, PT, OT, anyone relate that can relate to the aging care. Um, science are invited to be part of the IFDC. So we support the exchange of information just like this. So yes. between member organizations and the public. So that's yeah. basically what the IFDC has done. And also that's the reason why you really have a passion in dementia and aging population. So I also commend you and I thank you for collaborating the geriatric um, population and also our clients, caregivers and also different therapists in different fields, you know, in different Asia. I remember now we have the balance and falls, the management of balance and falls in the elderly this coming weekend. So can yeah. you tell us more about and why we want to focus on balance and falls prevention? Because I remember it's September. So tell us more about that, um, Gio. Yeah, uh, well, uh, this September coming, uh, 24, 25, and 26, we will have a collaboration, just like what I said. Uh, we, in the IFDC, collaborates two organizations having the same line of thinking, um, and that is to promote the quality of life for the elderly. So we are going to have it um, on December, I mean, September 24. Mm -hmm. uh, and this goes along with the uh, geriatric rehab summit 2021. Mm -hmm. So that's for the, the second day and the third day. So basically here is the, I um, uh, wanna show, um, all right, so that's one. The um, management of falls in aging and uh, older adults with yeah. Uh, yeah, with geriatric uh, care rehab. And uh, that's going to be a three day uh, activity. So you're there on the first day. So that's the, the live um, 
you know, discussion together with Dr. Waranani from uh, from Indonesia, and then we have you from the USA, and uh, we have uh, Mr. Aritaka from, from Japan. So this is going to be a live discussion, so we allow people to have a Q&A after each topic, and so we can move on towards, towards the, um, you know, second and third day with the sumptuous uh, topics related to the aging care. So this is very unique. Uh, because we will provide them with uh, lots of information about uh, the related topics on dementia and this is really good. So this is very attractive and the first time to be done by the IFBC uh, in collaboration with you, a US-based organization. So we're very much excited for this. Yes, yes. I just want to, um, I'm really proud of the geriatric rehab some we did um, last time, Jill. That's really, really good. So I would like to share it with others who wasn't able to watch it before. So especially mm -hmm. we have many, these are different um, experts. They are the famous and very well known educators in America. So they have this passion of improving also the geriatric population, balance, improving and fall prevention. They are in the expert in their field, vestibular, manual therapy, anything about the aging population. And I would like to share that because of the time difference, we have some students and therapists who sign up that time. And then mm. their, their concern is that it's a different time frame. So mm. some of them, they cannot sign up and everything. So I said that to give all again, all those um, opportunity for them to have their time on their time, what do you call that? Your time frame or the, yes. because we are Eastern time. So that Philippine time and it's really, yeah. So yeah. That, that, that way they can really watch it as if they are there, you know? So that's really good. I would like to always share whoever, whatever knowledge that they have. And especially this is not only open in, uh, in Philippines, also in Indonesia and in Japan. And I believe we have also registrants from Japan, right? So thank you yeah. so much also. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we have a, a, a big chunk of people uh, that are going to attend from, uh, they are caregivers from Malaysia, headed by uh, the uh, leader, our pastor in, in Malaysia. So she has already gathered a, and a good number of people and um, that would be so exciting. And uh, this is the, also the first one that uh, we have a, a full access of the geriatric rehab summit. So they like it. They like the, uh, the way it is being presented because they can access, these people are really busy during the prime time. So they can only watch videos uh, during night times so when people around are already sleeping. So that's when they can, they have a time to, uh, you know, watch and uh, read some articles about uh, they need to feed themselves with the updates. So I, yes. I think this is really, really nice, very attractive to them. Yes, thank you. And I remember Dr. Richard Gans, one of the speaker there, uh, he said that vestibular vestibular rehab is always an innovation. So you cannot be doing a seminar. I did that 2000 when I was still in America that time, around 2014, 15, I did a course in, in vestibular rehab. He said that it, it always changed, it always evolved. So right now when he did some, some speak, what you call when he presented on the geriatric rehab summit, he explained that every year, every month, you'll never know. It always changed. So that's really good that we keep evolving and sharing different innovation and evidence base. That's very, yeah. very important. Yeah, that's why I really have to commend you for stepping up and creating this beautiful platform to uh, provide a you know a space for for people in your practice to voice out and get some information about any updates about, uh, you know, the proper care, uh, especially in, in the balance and in, in falls. So 
uh, this it's really wonderful, uh, wonderful yeah. thing that you've done. Thank you as well, and you as well, uh, Jill. Thank you for also all your expertise in dementia. You really coming and being a secretary yet. You're an advocate, and you're an executive president of this organization. You're also volunteering your your time and effort for to expand the knowledge of our different professions, clinicians, not only therapists, they are all clinicians, caregivers. Mm. So that's really very, very important. Thank you for that. Yeah. So, yeah, as a leader, as a leader of my organization, I have to be very dynamic. I have to embrace the new challenges brought about by, you know, the pandemic. Um, we thought that uh, it's like a cul-de-sac because, you know, the, the pandemic has marred the uh, many organizations, but uh, there's no stopping in there. Before the pandemic, we had been very active and proactive in educating people all over the Philippines. But as when the pandemic began uh, a year ago, so what we did is that we embraced the new normal. So we, we did so much things online. And uh, the good thing with it is that we do not only collaborate with the organizations locally, but we went out of, uh, we went out of the boundaries. So we connect to different organizations outside the Philippines. And, and this is what we do. We first offer free webinars and then moving on towards paid webinar. So uh, if you really put a heart on what you practice, there's always a way for you to do things. Yeah. No pandemic, no, nothing can stop you at all. Yeah, that's wonderful. So um, Jill, how can we connect with you? So if ever there are many people watching right now, clinicians or caregivers who wanted to know more about what is dementia care expert or examination, and if they want to be more involved on your um, mission and your vision about dementia, how can they connect with you, Chief? All right, I have my social media account that bears my real name. Uh, it's easy to remember. My name has a double I in it and uh, arsenal, uh, but I don't keep weapons with me. I don't have to keep armaments with me. I'm a peaceable person. I'm one of the Jehovah's Witnesses. So they can connect with me. I. I have a Facebook account and a LinkedIn, and also they can contact me through my WhatsApp, that's 0917-712-9718. And uh, of course, I encourage you to like my page, that's uh, Jim's, uh, facebook.com slash Jim's International. So we can, uh, we can meet there, we can chat, and we can provide you information regarding dementia and the related things like the aged care as a whole. All right. I like how you put all those things beside you. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, that's I'm not your, prepared. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, that's the journalism in you. <laughs> that's Thank amazing. You yeah. And I yeah. like also the, your video before with the jeans on the side. That is, uh, yeah. yes, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. Ah, the logo, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jill, and I really appreciate, I know it's so early in Philippines. So guys, that's the uh, Jill Arsenal. So if you have any questions at all and want to know more about that, I believe they have books. They um, they also do some books, um, they publish the books and also yes, yes. it's available in the market. And they gave some books when you're about to do those certification and everything. So they have many programs. You just need to check out their website and Jim's. And I will go into post it as well once we are going to post the interviews of this podcast. And this really wonderful. And I'll get to know different people. So guys, if you have any questions, we discussed dementia. We also discussed September is Fall Prevention Month. That's why we have this wonderful webinar with you this coming September 24, 25, 26. So if you missed the geriatric rehab summit, you are welcome to join us. And on your time zone, it's, it's recorded as well, but it's really good. If you're in Southeast Asia, you can watch it live in your time frame. All right. So 
It's me again, guys, Dr. Jenny Yusuf. I'm a physical therapist, geriatric clinical specialist, and also a certified exercise expert in aging adults. We just are uh, very pleasure to meet um, Jill. He's a dementia care expert and dementia care advocate. So guys, uh, connect with us if you have any questions. Jill, any closing remarks? Uh, all right. Um, I think I have said what I have to say. Uh, well, I just wanted to say that your platform goes along really well with the Pulse Prevention Month that is happening uh, this September. And uh, I would like to uh, encourage everyone to, uh, you know, coordinate your effort to make a larger impact that polls are preventable and that uh, people needs you. You have to be just proactive and engaging. Set aside first the economic gains of your practice. Uh, just to be supportive and educate more people. Uh, I can say that you will be blessed tremendously. Oh, that's really that's good. Thank I you guess. so much. Yeah. I like that when you're giving out something good, it you will it will come back to you. Yeah, I appreciate that. And that's really wonderful, you know. So guys, as I've said, we are so pleasured to, uh, for, to feature different wonderful innovators, leaders, entrepreneurs in our Thanks God It's Thursday. And once again, we have Jill Arsenal tonight. All right. Bye, guys. And we'll connect you. See you on September 24, 25, 26 for the management of falls in elderly and also connect with us if you have any question to be the dementia care expert. All right. And have a good day, guys. God bless. Bye, Jill. Uh, Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.